Hi everyone, welcome to Pete's Unplugged. My name is Dr. Andy Kohler. Um, I'm one of the pediatricians here at Northwest Arkansas Pediatric Clinic. I am joined by two of my fabulous partners. I'm Dr. Randall. Dr. Ben Hill. Today we're here to talk about pediatric well checks. And what I want to do today is kind of provide some behind the scenes, uh, down to earth answers to some questions that we get really frequently here at the clinic to provide some good, concise, and hopefully usable information for you. Lorene, you are stuck with taking care of my two kids. Henry is nine, Mary Caroline is six. This next year, they don't need any shots. They don't do school physicals yet. Why am I even bothering to bring them in? Well, I think part of doing a physical is really, hopefully, in theory, following children throughout their life. So knowing them from birth to college or through college and being able to sort of track their progress in this world. We're looking at them sort of big picture. Like, how are they growing? How are they developing? Like, we're looking at them physically, like their hearts and their lungs, their height, their weight, their blood pressure, but we're also looking at emotional well-being, social well-being, and I feel like it's just an important part of taking care of a child. And in a well child that gives us a chance to really know who the child is. And obviously it changes with ages, but what are some of the things that you really like to like kind of hit on with fit? I'm always kind of hitting on sleep, nutrition, exercise, kind of mood and emotional well-being in school. Or making sure that kids have a good support system. So friends, family. For a majority of kids that are healthy, a lot of times a well check we're not. It may seem like we're not really doing much, but you know, kind of like taking your car in to get regular oil changes. It's sort of making sure that we don't have this something. If you never come in outside of those sick checks, we just don't get a chance to yeah. actually ask those questions. So I always tell parents like it's a process, it's progress. And so we're really looking at the whole time. We don't expect a child to meet every developmental milestone. That's not what we're looking for. We're looking at you know, progress, we're looking for patterns. And so it's not meant to be, we're not trying to grade your parenting or grade your child and point out things that are going wrong. We're just sort of trying to track the child. And if there is something, like if there is a speech delay or if there is sort of a fine marriage delay, we're watching it so that if it exists, we can diagnose it earlier, we can correct it. You know, therapy is so effective at younger ages. So we're looking for small things, we're following them, and if it is a problem, then we're going to address it. So I'm going to take a quick plug real quick for the CDC Milestone Tracker app. It is really uh, excellent, it's free, um, and it's a great way uh, for you as a parent to see not where the, your kid is, and it really is to the design of the app is to come in and say, hey, we didn't notice or we're not quite there yet, and allow to kind of start a conversation. Because um, sometimes as a parent, you can feel like, I don't even know what my kid's supposed to be doing at this point. So, um, you know, just a, a thing to look up. It's really easy. Just go in the App Store and look for the CDC Milestone Tracker. 